I have got Tharoa syndrome, surgical endocrinologist attached to the Tamil Nadu Government Multi Specialty Hospital, Mamandura, Mount Road. I have been uh, appointed to help you guys. I will be coming on a weekly basis on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, between 3 to 5. If you have any doubts regarding medical field, you can always feel free to share with me. As the time uh, right now is a bit uh, grim and we have, uh, there's so much talk going on with coronavirus, I thought I would just brief you or educate you regarding coronavirus and its effects and also eliminate your fear. The whole point of this exercise is to just eliminate your fear and the first point before I could start is I would, I, I would humbly request you to not to panic. Uh, this is the coronavirus virus which, has, which is the actual uh, picture of the virus on an electron microscope. Next slide please. Coronavirus belongs to the Corona Viridia family. It represents, the name comes because of the crown like structures which you have already seen. The crown like structures which are on the virus which leads to the name coronavirus. It is highly transmittable and it causes severe acute respiratory syndrome. That is why it is called SARS CoV 2. That is the scientific name. Subsequently, the WHO had modified it into COVID 19 because coronavirus disease, which was identified in 2019 in Wuhan, China. The virus is particularly the primary reservoir of bats. Therefore, uh, bats are the primary reservoir of this virus. The intermediate source of origin and its transfer to the human is still not known. Humans are not the primary reservoir. Through some intermediate host, we do not know what is the inside intermediate host. There are a lot of theories. Some say it is because of eating the bats. Some say it is a lab. They call these are just theories, not just proven. So, it is, uh, but the fact is, it, there is a rapid human to human transfer that has been confirmed widely throughout the world. Next slide, please. This slide, I would uh, I thought of putting it because I assume most of you would have seen this in the initial stages of our social media when Wuhan had been started, uh, 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 reporting cases of coronavirus. Uh, people were saying that we have already a cure for coronavirus, so this coronavirus cannot affect our country. That's not true. Actually, sir, coronavirus has seven different strains. You can see the scientific names of each one, 22, 90, and then 60. All these are scientific names. Of these, I'm sure most of you would have heard of MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, which occurred in Middle East sometime back in years back, and SARS, which occurred in 2002, probably, uh, in the same uh, severe respiratory uh, syndrome. Again, now COVID 19 is a mutated version of the SARS COVID virus. That is why it is called SARS coronavirus 2 or COVID virus. Subsequently, the WHO had coined it as COVID 19. Next slide, please. The transmission, main route of spread of this virus is mainly through droplet transmission. There are a lot of studies going on with an object, but the main proven route as of now is droplet transmission. How droplet transmission? When someone who is infected coughs, means this, the virus tends to uh, come out as droplets and in fact when it comes to direct contact of your mucus membrane, if you are within the six feet, uh, within the six feet uh, distance of uh, infected person, when you cough, you can directly get the virus when it enters your nose or mouth or eyes. The other mode of transmission which is mostly is what is happening right now is through surface touching. That is when the person coughs, the virus stays in the surface for a particular time of time. Each surface has its own shelf of life. That is when, when you accidentally touch it after the person coughs and goes up, you come up something, you touch it and subsequently when you touch your eye, nose or mouth, you will tend to transfer the disease to yourself. This is the two modes of transmission. I didn't want to go too much into detail of your scientific talk because it's more of an educated talk and I don't want to bore you also. So I would be doing more of a pictorial description. I'm sure most of you have seen most of the pictures in the social media. The, like, like always, the coin has two sides, good and bad. The social media has both good content and bad content. I have taken the good content alone. The previous picture was to uh, break the myth. The Dettol bottle was to break the myth. Now I will be coming up with the, some of the facts which were shared in the uh, social media. Take for example this group. There are four groups of people. A, B, C, D. Kindly note these four carefully. Next slide please. A is a person who comes from abroad. He is the imported case. The person who imports the virus. A has to go and meet C. C is this close group, meaning his family members, his colleagues, his 
neighbor on the place where he visits often. All these are the C contacts of A. In the process of going and seeing, see, for example, the person is coming from abroad, getting down in the airport, by the time he transfers to his house, there are so many people in between which you come under contact. Those are the people who are B. We do not know who are the people who are B people. All are complete strangers. These are people in airports, bus stations, train stations, a taxi which you travel, again someone else can travel, the cell phone sleeps, supermarket, restaurant, any place where you go, the B are the people who are from the strangers, but they do not know you, either do you know them. Next slide please. All this has a significance because when an important case comes A, when it's symptomatic, definitely you can easily uh, uh, target them and give them a target. Similar thing, C is also easy to uh, thing, uh, map, road map. But the B people are the ones who don't know, either do they know that they have come in contact with the infected person, or do they do they themselves know that they are infected and they are going to be a source of infection. So this is the big challenge for what we are facing now. And the so symptoms to appear in the B uh, person it takes almost 14 days. So in that during that incubation period we do not know whether he is infected or not. So this is the major challenge to be broke. Next slide please. So again as I told you A is important case yes, so you can easily target them. C is the people who are at home and near close contacts. The B is what is very specific. What the government is uh, very much stressing on. B are people who stay at home. Like I already showed you A, B, C. B doesn't come in contact with any of A, B, C. He is safe at home. That is what is called quality social distancing. He is totally safe. That is what you are doing right now also. Next slide please. Now I hope you come into a picture. He is a person who has imported the disease. He is hospitalized. He is undergoing treatment. C is the person who came in contact with A. All the close circle people. They are quarantined. D is a person, smart person who is not born of us at all. Either as he has any contact with A, C or B. So he is in a safe zone. The problem is with the B people. Tracing the B people is very difficult. As I already have explained the reason why. Next slide please. The whole now coming to the quarantine issue. As I already have given you a picture of a description. This picture speaks volume. The power of social distancing. Meaning quarantine. For example, you see as a current scenario in most of the countries, especially in China, the problem is for the number one person who is infected. These are proven. In five days, the infected one person infects around 2.5 people in five days. These 2.5 people in a matter of 30 days infect 406 people. This is happening day and day, day and night. This is why there is a rampant spread of the coronavirus disease. Whereas, when you do a 50% reduction, like how you were working in the beginning, when you do a 50% reduction of uh, people going around, where one person can spread the infection only to 1.25%, this 1.25% in 30 days infects only 15 people. See the drastic reduction. Again, when you go for a lockdown, when more than 70% of people are inside the house, only 25% are essential people, doctors, police, all the milkmen, all those guards, and all those things, people are only out. When you do that, one person infects only 0.625 people. This 0.625 people, in a matter of 30 days, infects only 2.5. Can you see the drastic reduction? That is why, that is the, the importance of social distancing and quality. This is the main reason why we are going for a lockdown. You understand, there is no harm in sitting at home. You can see the advantage of sitting at home doing your work, not interacting with other people. Next slide please. Now coming to the clinical features. <coughs> Any flu is similar to coronavirus infection. All these years when you had cold, fever, uh, body pain, the same symptoms you have in coronavirus infection. Also because this is also kind of a flu. But you cannot differentiate. In this, the most common clinical presentation is fever. 88%, high cough and 67 percent persons, 50, 38 percent. Myalgia at 14% and dyspnea at 18% of people only will have dyspnea. Other symptoms include headaches, sore throat, rhinophobia, and gastrointestinal symptoms. These are the other associated symptoms which you might have if you have a coronavirus infection. Next slide, please. Coming to the spectrum of disease, I, have, I already told you that the incubation period is 2 to 14 days. After 14 days, you never know if the person is infected because he is having the infection. 
being multiplied within the body does not have any cracks in the that is called incubation period. Uh, and the various categories of disease, mild illness was reported in 81% of the patients. This is what has been reported throughout the body. All the 160 countries which have been affected by this virus, 81% of the population has been having a very mild disease. That itself is a good indicator. You need not panic. If you have even a coronavirus, even if you get 80, the probability of 81 percent is having only high disease. 14 percent can have severe illness. Severe illness meaning breathlessness, which leads to a high oxygen, which can lead further care. Critical disease is seen only 5 percent. 5 percent who are totally severely sick, needing ICU uh, treatment, are only 5 percent. These are all reported. And overall, mortality or fatality is only 2 to 5 percent. So in every hundred, only two or five or two to five people only have one type of issues. Next slide, please. Next slide. Uh, diagnosis. Coming to the diagnosis, the recommended diagnostic modality for uh, COVID-19 is polymerase chain reaction test. This is uh, done usually using a specimen obtained from the upper respiratory tract, meaning the nose, your mouth. They take throat swabs. Additionally, they can take blood samples also to support the diagnosis. So once they do that, a single positive test should always be confirmed by a second RT-PCR assay, that is the guidance. So this is what they do for diagnosis. Usually it's a throat swab taken from the throat and nose and additional samples like blood. Next slide. Treatment options, as I already told you, 81% of people have mildly calm flu-like symptoms. These people, guidance say, only treatment option is isolation at home. You isolate yourself at home, take supportive treatment like antihistamines, roll over, paracetamol, do some skin relation, isolate yourself from the rest of the family, have healthy food. That itself will suffix. Nine disease with this kind of treatment, 81% of the people can recover. 14% who go in for the severe disease, that is, they have severe breathlessness, cyanosis, bluish coloration of their lips, and so on. Those people will need hospital admission. Of this 14%, next 5% people can need ICU admission and ventilate to someone. They might need ventilate to someone because of lung failure or multiple organ dysfunction, like kidney, liver failure, and all those things. So, this is the treatment options as of now. There is no clear cut, concrete treatment option for coronavirus. All these are supportive measures. Next slide, please. As I have already told you, there is no other choice as of now. There are a lot of trials going on. You might have seen a lot of uh, forward saying the flow of main time to the, the um, HIV drugs uh, and all those things. All these are under clinical trial or use temporarily and they are doing it on a trial level basis. We yet to have a concrete uh, evidence supporting that this is the treatment, the ideal treatment for coronavirus. So there is no drug of choice and they already told you the treatment is only supported, tiny and oxygen support once you get admitted. If you go in for the severe illness, you give an oxygen, fluids, antibiotics, if you are necessary, you will be in the suspect for secondary bacterial infection. And as I was saying, I already told you, there is no antibiotic therapy proven to work for COVID 19 in humans as a result. But multiple RCTs are going, which are promising, which are entered phase 1, phase 2, and phase 3 trials. Next slide, please. This is a beautiful article which came in Times of India Sunday edition. I have shared the link also to you. We can go through this. It came yesterday, 22nd, in the additional page. This particular article explains in detail what are the options we have for prevention. For example, US, Europe, China, France, all these people, Germany, all are actively looking into developing vaccines. At the same time, what are the treatment options available? They have mentioned about all the antivirals, they have mentioned about chloroquine, they have mentioned about interferon, all the antivirals, which are all in phase two, phase three. Company has been approved as such by the WHO, CDC, or Drug Control Media as yet. Next slide, please. So, the ultimate goal, as I pointed out initially, the main mode of prevention of transmission is through social distance. This is a powerful picture where you can see even a fire from a mask can be stopped from spreading by just a little bit of distance. This is an app picture which applies to us also. Next slide, please. So these pictures, I'm sure most of you would have come across social media. These are really useful pictures. You can see the common areas where you come into contact, how you prevent the don't touch it directly, do some indirect touching in the land, 
or I've seen videos where they use toothpick to press the thing. Maximum avoid contacts, even in the near lip, avoid direct case contact, don't talk too much in the lip because it's a close confined space. Next step is when you go out, don't touch the door handles, try doing it differently, don't touch the railings and all those things. In any public place, don't touch any of the railings or any other things because the virus can stay there for a couple of hours, which can ultimately lead to the surface transmission. Next slide, please. Again, now preventive measures. How do you prevent? Meaning, how do you clean? This is a protocol given by CMC where they say 7% lifestyle is a good virus cycle, it can be used to disinfect the common areas. The person who is disinfecting should be given adequate protection and speak the personal protection equipment so that they don't get the infection during the process. So, this is very important. This will be taken care of. Next slide, please. So, this is how they say that you can prevent it. So the sweeping and mopping, twice daily, cleaning all the common areas where people come into contact, twice daily, wipe the floors, wipe the main doors, door hands, all those can be wiped if you are asking for this. And all those things with sun person like this of spray or I am sure you will see pictures where people spray. Yeah, that is a mix of lights on water in the ratio and the cooperation of the is coming to the ratio to spray all those. All this definitely has some benefits. Next slide please. Coming to the main important point, all these things people can do it or at a higher rate, but this particular thing only you can do. Our hands is a factory of choice, not only for corona for the rest of your life. I feel if you have this habit of washing your hands thoroughly, I think most of the diseases or infections can stay away from you. So what they say, 20 seconds of washing with your regular soap and water, more than sufficient. You don't have to use any high five alcohol based things. Yes, alcohol disinfects do help, but nothing can beat the soap and water. I tell you why. Because the soap because of the slather effect, it breaks that outer membrane. I have shown you the picture where you have the crown like surface, no? it breaks that is liquid membrane. It breaks that so that the virus will disintegrate and the final the virus there. So, nothing like a proper hand wash. I am sure you would have seen most of the videos showing you how to wash. You should wash at least for 20 seconds. Make sure you don't waste your water and let your back run. Let your hands a little bit, take whatever soap you are using already. Why you in a series of washing? This is the WHO and book. I hope I hope thing you can see. It is not enough just to wash like this. There are many points where the germs can stay, like including the web spaces. So ideally you should wash properly the web spaces, again at the back, like this, around your thumb, both finger, both hands, then subsequently your nails, and up to your mid forearm. On this the actual way we wash up the surgery. Before we do any surgery, this is the same method we use, probably we do two, three times. For you, they say only 20 seconds. Frequently, as frequently as possible, you're going out, you're coming back and first wash your hands, then more touch other things. If you're coming to the office, wash your hands, then more go to your cubicle. So always wash before eating again. Before you come in contact with the public place again, okay, wash it. There's no harm in washing the hand in number of times. But make sure you wash for at least 20 seconds to the proper soap which is put in that. Excellent. And uh, coming to all the Information overload in social media, there are certain reliable sources of uh, information. For example, the Central Government of India, I mean, this is the WhatsApp number where you can WhatsApp, where a chatbot helps you out to your doubts. So you can use that number. That is a Central Government approved number where you can chat on WhatsApp. And this is 104 by the Amnard State Government, which is already functioning. That 104, you can call again queries regarding coronavirus, so you have any symptoms or you want any advice, I would always be there. In case you want any even more information, my limited knowledge, I am trying to help you out. In case you want further knowledge, you can contact these three numbers. Next slide, please. Finally, friends, to summarize, the only treatment option right for now for corona is self-distancing or social distancing and quality. The more you social distance, the more you stay at home, the less the chances of Virus spread. There is no other definitive treatment as such. All those are empirically done and symptomatic. Second thing, not all people get sick and die. Keep that in mind. Eighty-one percent will have a viral disease, which is usually treated like your okay common flu, which is you've been getting all these years. Number two. Number three, don't think age is a barrier. Only old age and young uh, children will have it. Which even young adults, a lot of young adults have been uh, uh, affected by the disease. Eh? USA, USA, UK, a lot of them, 20 to 50 years, so many people have been 
That's right. Not like in China, I think they said only in the age and young people. So age is not a matter. Anyone is susceptible to that and other people. Number four is frequently wash your hands. Don't go in the uh, don't go keep touching everything and anything else. Wash your hands or this. Number five is avoid public spaces as much as you can. Next one or two weeks is a crucial time for our country. Our country being a developing nation, we have enough and more facilities to manage, but still, if, 10, uh, if when you have a 10 bed hospital, 100 people coming in for a treatment is like a strain to the health sector. So, think about all those things. No? And the first and foremost, if you have any doubt, contact over the phone, have a proper treatment. In case, if you have other issues, later you can uh, go to the hospital. If you go to the hospital for initial symptoms, uh, symptoms you can have a cross infection from a patient who is already positive. I have a small video to show you the symptoms. I think that slide was missed. That slide, and I, I can please go back. That video will show you the symptom already. That is from the social media, but it is very calls good that symptoms. And yeah, play this video. This is actually a good video which brings you a series of the of the interesting part of Thank you. 